You checked out the family tree? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. No, well, I grew up Batavia. So Batavia, most people think of Dan Issel, Kenny Anderson, quarterback of the Bengals. We all played high school together. But there's a time before that that Batavia was known as the uh, hideout for a lot of the uh, as you said, organized crime guys who tried to get away from Elliot Ness and the boys because they were in charge of Cook County. So they'd run out and hide in King County, Batavia. So John Dillinger actually lived right on the street where our doctor lived. And then um, my father grew up on uh, East Wilson Street. And my aunt, Dorothy, was a nurse. And somehow, I don't know how, but she got connected with Capone. And he trusted her, and she liked him. And he, she became his personal nurse and my dad used to talk about you know depression days and you know not having much for Christmas you know get an orange or an apple all of a sudden here comes this great present from his older sister you know from Capone and he, you know he get he get the bicycle or something he get something big because obviously it was Capone taking care of my dad getting him the, the presents and uh, they're now filming a movie called Public Enemies about Dillinger and Adam Mucci is playing that part and so they talked to my dad who's still living 90 years old about what it was like back then and you know he'd say yeah you know we'd win a game in high school and you know, baseball or basketball and all of a sudden Dillinger would take us all to dinner and it, it was a time period that you know obviously was written in history but growing up I knew that she was his nurse but nobody really talked about it because she was the one that ran away to go with Capone and then when she passed away at her funeral all the stories came out and everything came out of the closet and then we started right. saying oh yeah Dorothy oh yeah her and Capone and oh yeah she moved to Lake Geneva and lived with him and she'd send us presents and she'd do this and uh, so it was part of uh, I think part of the family tree that nobody was really proud of for a few years but now you know everybody's saying oh that's pretty cool you know and your aunt was really Al Capone's personal nurse yeah